Another trading week is winding down right here at the New York Stock Exchange. And what a week it's been. A rough start that turned into a big rally. And just this Friday, here at the big board, the Dow Jones, a little changed near the 42,000 level to cap this massive rally, courtesy of the first major easing of interest rate policy by the U.S. Federal Reserve in four years. Now, on Wednesday afternoon, the Fed cutting its interest rates by a more than expected supersized half point, its first cut since the year 2020. And in a delayed reaction, the market climbed higher on Thursday as investors crowded back into tech names like NVIDIA, which has been getting hammered as of late. And as the Dow Jones hovers near the 42,000 level, investors are now wondering if the gains will continue as we enter a new full trading week. That's right, the final full trading week of September 2024 is almost here. Will we see more gains? Will the pessimism return? Let's now take a look at what will likely move the markets in the week ahead. We kick off this final full week of September 2024 with, a, with some serious PMI reads out of France, Germany, the EU, the UK, and even the US. While speaking of the US, three-month and six-month bill auctions, they both await. And then on Tuesday, we find ourselves down under with Australia's RBA interest rate decision, a rate that currently sits at 4.35%, while here in the U.S. we have housing data in focus with the July housing price index due out, as well as the S&P Case-Shiller home prices read. Case-Shiller currently sitting 6.5%. Wednesday sees us stay in the U.S. with more housing data. This time, it's the August new home sales numbers, that of which is expected at 0.7 million. And then on Thursday, it's a busy session to start. We have the SNV interest rate decision on the docket, a rate that currently sits at one and a quarter percent. While in the U.S., there's a lot of data to uncover, including weekly jobless claims numbers with the two big reports, inflation and GDP. Those are both due out. First, inflation as second quarter core personal consumption expenditures there on the docket. Expectations, 2.8 percent. Second quarter annualized GDP expected at 3 percent. And then on Friday, we conclude with more data out of the U.S., including personal income, personal spending and the September Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index currently at a read of 69. And lastly, keep an eye on those earnings reports and geopolitical headlines as the countdown to the U.S. presidential election is now one and a half months away. And until next week, coming at you live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney reporting for ICM.